Sometimes in life, we find ourselves in situations that we just can't control. And you're like, oh my goodness, how did I get here? My name is Yinka Ladurant and welcome to Real Talk. Today we are at Noir Restaurant in VI and per usual, I have a couple of my friends here. But today we're doing something a little bit different. I have a really special situationship question that I want to propose to them and hopefully they can shed some light on it. Let's go. Hello everyone. Hello, how are you guys? Very fine, thank you. All right, guys. Now, you know when there's always like a friend of a friend of a friend has a situation. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, there's a serious situation ship that okay. I really hope you guys can help me shed some light on. Okay? okay. So there's a young lady who was in a relationship with a guy and um, she cheated. Hmm. I know, who would think, right? Okay. Women, we typically don't cheat. We never cheat, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> just, just all the time. Just all the time. Okay, <laughs> the shade. I caught the shade. Um, okay, so basically she cheated on okay. her boyfriend. Um, she then told her boyfriend that she cheated on him. Okay. And then after that, um, you know, obviously like being the sharp night jack guy that he is, he's like, no, I'm not going to take this. They mm -hmm. break up. Done. Our sister in the Lord finds <laughs> out that she is pregnant. Oh my wow. Yeah. So now it's like, what should she do? Does she, you know? And here's another thing too. So it ends up, so I found out that she actually ends up telling the guy that, you know, she's pregnant. She ends up telling her ex-boyfriend that she's pregnant. Doesn't tell the other dude. Um, and the, bo the boyfriend or the ex-boyfriend, he's not okay. conflicted because it's like, is he... he? She pre she's pregnant for the boyfriend. Or we the don't know. Today. Nobody okay. knows. Nobody knows. Wow. She really doesn't know. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, if... if I mean, she can still kind of do see. something about it. Do some... Well, I, I wouldn't wants. advocate that. Yeah, me too. I don't think so. She could lose her life, but mm -hmm. if she... If she... If she, she, if she talks she to the other guy... Oh, she doesn't want she it. She doesn't want it, but the ex-boyfriend is conflicted because he still... He's, he's, he's always seen her as, like, the mother of his child. Like, he really loves her. He's always mm. wanted to, you know, but... Yeah, so he's really you? conflicted, and he's Yoruba. You know how Yoruba guys. And do. she's not Yoruba. Well, love knows yeah, that. She can't do DNA. That doesn't even matter. Abby, exactly. But then that she has to wait for she the child. She has to baby. She doesn't want the baby. She doesn't want the baby, and she, but she wants to do the do. <laughs> so she doesn't want the baby. So why is she telling the guy? Oh, she I mean, but you wouldn't know. But as a guy, I would think the guy deserves to know, don't you think? I feel it's just so. unnecessary torture. Yeah. Why tell yeah. him? Yeah, so exactly. you, don't, you already don't want you the don't baby. You don't want the baby, mm -hmm. so why you tell him? You're not sure him? if it's the guy's baby. Yeah, exactly, and you don't want the baby, so. Wait, so you don't think that the guy deserves to know? No. Well, if she doesn't want to know. Just leave him and let him move on. For the fact that he broke up, that means he doesn't Wait, want Wait, Emmanuel, to you would not want to know if somebody was carrying your child. Mm. So, that somebody I'm not with anymore, somebody that cheated uh -huh. on me that I, I would not even be sure he was my child in the first place. Mm. But there, okay, first of all, there are other things that you can do in, in order to quote unquote not have the child. You can have mm. the child, you can give the child up for adoption. If a okay. child is up for adoption, I would still think that the father deserves to know like, okay, by the way, just so you know, 18 months later, 18 years later, somebody can come looking for you. Okay, so you True. think the father is yeah. Why did you tell the ex? Why did you tell the guy you cheated with you? Uh, okay, That's it's just fair enough. Just tell both of them. Except yes. because she knows who wants the child. Exactly, who wants and the child. Want or she just wants to push the, the child. Was not yeah. to me. Or she wants to use the child to pull this guy back, by all means, whether it's his or not. Do you get? So why would you Wait, just you tell women the women are that devious? Well, it sounds that way here. You get? And and we don't generalize. Don't, we don't, don't generalize. Don't say women like are. We are talking of a lady Some, now. We are exactly. talking of women. But for you to think general. that, that that's means the way it seems. Because if she had told the ex and told the guy she cheated with together, okay, we we'll know that she's plain and safe that whoever is the father of the child. But for mm -hmm. you to have just and you just cheated with somebody and you just found out you're mm -hmm. pregnant, you now told the ex. Who knows? Maybe they've never had sex in <laughs> yet. Okay. I'm even girl power, but I think I'm going with him because yes, I feel is. no. It's just. It's like, why? Okay, but now, guys, she has, she's pregnant. So what are we telling Well, her? I feel she has to have it first. Keep then, the I don't know why she told just the boyfriend, but I feel the ex, or no, the cheating person. The deserves, cheating. Deserves, yeah, yeah. The and I feel the cheating. 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 Cheating.
Me too. Mm, really? Well, your mind. Because obviously mind. she has been... She has been, been, she has been, she's, she's been having sex with this other dude for... So they've been dating now. I, I, I don't know how long she's been having sex with And who knows day. whether they... After mm. she broke up with him, you don't know but what But the way happened. she made it seem... Well, the way my friend made it seem was that it was like a one-off kind of a thing. But I don't know. I didn't one ask her how many times she's... Very powerful ones. <laughs> you know. One of them very... Ones and twos. Oh, my gosh. Well... I, I think she should keep the baby mm -hmm. and then um, later on probably do a paternity test or whatsoever yeah. and find out who the true father is. And, do and if she doesn't advice? want the child, she can, I mean, like you said, give the baby up for adoption or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how come it, it seems like there's a double standard here that she came clean, she came true, told him, hey, mm -hmm. I love you, but this is what happened, this is the situation, but the guy walks away. How come in these type of situationships, no, no, but there's no double standard there. If if it was the guy too and he, he came clean, if the guy wants to go, yeah, she should break no, up. No, but let's in our society there seems to be a double standard. And here's what I mean: even in marriages, if a wife goes and tells her mother, "Oh my gosh, my husband cheated on me," the mom might say, "Ah, oh, she is only cheating now. Stay." Or oh, how do you know that you won't see worse? Da, da, da. You know, our culture has kind of given yeah. a pass for men, no, and when things, women do it, things are changing. Yeah. Women are waking up. You know, mm -hmm. we are hearing stories everywhere. Like, women walk away from trash now. Women, they don't like it, you know. Okay, I don't think there is, like, I don't think it's double standards per se. I mean, if my if I'm in a relationship and my partner cheats on me, I'm walking out. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> Not because I don't. It's just, there are certain things I can't condone. And I feel mm -hmm. cheating is not bad. I can't, any form of cheating, whether mm -hmm. you want to cover it with whatever you cheated, I'm out. Because it just... Like she said, she will walk away. Mm -hmm. Some other girls will be like, ah, I will take mm -hmm. it. Okay. So it's Cheats. about your personality and what you can take. Mm -hmm. okay. You get So I don't think it's a guy. So girl you guys don't think that when it comes to cheating, that girls are expected to give guys more of a pass? I don't think. I, think I, just think I wouldn't say girls are expected. You might say, you might say girls give, give guys the pass more. More. But that is not still double standard. That is a choice. That is what you... Cause you will now say, oh, because I'm a guy. And they will now say... It's too much. Okay, let me just stay. If you don't want it, you don't want because mm -hmm. you are you are even like doing the girl more harm by staying. So why do you think that stay. guys don't stay? I think it's pride. It's a pride. They have. I think they think <laughs> you think you're the only girl. Just bounce. Mm -hmm. Okay, Next so why don't you? Why won't you stay? No, Is I it won't pride? stay because I can't stand it. So why does it have to be pride with guys? I just can't stand it. You can't stand it. For, it. No, for guys, I feel it's your ego. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, dive deeply into situationships. Do you guys think that they're becoming the norm where every situation or every relationship is expected to get inside this gray area where it's like, oh, things happen or oh, this just happened and it kind of takes you, it takes you out of one-on-one -on -one relationships. It's our situationships becoming a norm now. I think I think they can be a norm where where there's really no clear picture. Like if there's just a guy and a girl, you're yeah, just boyfriend and girlfriend, and you 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 know the way we were maybe early university days, you just you just a few these babies, a few but when you guys you've, you've not even sat down, you don't know where you're going. Like you don't even know what tomorrow is going to be like for both of you. You get so it's just like your relationship already is like a situationship. Life is too short. I don't know why. What I call situationship is okay. I like you. Mm. I like, you like me, but I'm not ready to put a name on it. Do you get? So mm. let's do everything normal couples do, mm -hmm. but we're not exclusive. Mm. Do you get? Is it bad for people to want situationships? Must we all want relationships? Personally, I don't like it. What if it's a mutual agreement? That's the thing. You didn't force you in Personally. the first place. Have you, have you, been, in, have you been in one? You know, you to be in a situation, then thing. you have to answer that question. I meet a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I meet a guy, right? And he says, okay, look, um, I kind of like you. Blah, blah, blah. So I think um, let's just see where it goes. Mm. Now, two years, you'll be seeing where that thing Girl, is going. That's and it'll uh, go with him years. going we down the aisle well, and I'm so much from experience. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the way okay. she has been so hitting her leg on the ground, you well, know that. Well, exactly what she's doing for two years. But let me throw something years. out. Let me throw something years. out. Ladies. Yeah, the guy Hold knows on. you what like him. Uh -huh. well, then you can tell the guy, man, see, I can't do this anymore. You always have that. Have you ever been in love? Of course, I'm in love Okay, right so wait. So I've been looking to her eyes. She's been with this drink. Sorry, I was telling you to throw this something out. This is my camera view. So ladies, <laughs> if, you, if you meet a guy and the guy is like, I'm kind of feeling you, so let's just see where this leads. Mm. 
Oh, 80% chance is, is okay, married okay, or is hold engaged. On a second. This whole so you were talking about how okay, you have you ever been in love? Is there space for love in a situation? That's what starts it in the first place. Oh, you think it's love? Is it love or lust? From the girl, though, not from, from the yeah. okay, yes. I'm speaking from my perspective. I feel that's what starts it for, for you to have given him a chance. There's no a likeness stage anymore. Like you're liking somebody before you start dating. Okay, you never met a girl that will tell but, you I like you two years after I'm still liking you. No, okay, but okay, but so that's why I'm asking the, the likeness. Question. You can like some. My own likeness stage is like a. That's like the gestation period. Mm. For me, that's like maybe two weeks. Even when I start dating, mm. it's still a process. Okay, me and this girl we were friends from small. So we were so close that um, we thought we could get into a relationship. But when the relationship worked, that it was not really. It's not that we. We, it's not that we talked to our talked out to ourselves that okay, oh, I want um, I want you to be my girl, but it just the romantic something just started and but we had to talk to ourselves that we don't need this. We are better of as friends, so that I think you just you just have to talk to yourselves. Um, at times and at times and when you're in in such a relationship, friends with benefits kind of thing, feelings tend to develop later on, tend to develop later on. But it now depends on how. Both parties decide to manage it, manage their emotions and everything while in the friendship benefit thing. So I think it depends on both of them. But to me, at, it, gets to a, it gets to a particular age when you, when you tend to grow above such friendship benefit. And if you decide to settle down, decide to have kids, you cannot have kids in a friendship benefit kind of thing because you get to a point when probably um, you get pregnant for a lady, the guy might decide not to take up the, the, the baby, you'll not be a baby mama kind of thing. So. The lady tends to suffer at the end, not even the guy. But first we benefit, they can find the love. Because once you're close to the person, you start, you start saying things that will make you fall in love with the person. You might start saying things that is not in your, maybe you, the person you're dating, that's some attribute that, you might, that might not be in here, you might be saying it in that person. They tend to fall in love. People with, that are friends with benefit, sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, I feel... You, you have to be, when you're with someone for a particular period of time, you tend to like like the person. I want to be seeing the person every day. So I feel, yeah, you will fall in love at some points. No, I think you, you have to study someone for a while before you start dating. So yes, yeah, you have to know someone before you start dating. All right, so as we wrap up, I want to wrap up with do's and don'ts of a situation ship. So let's start with the do's. What should you do when you are in a situation ship? Tell the person how you really feel. Draw a timeline. <laughs> Time <table>. After <laughs> six months, three months, two okay. months, whatever, begin to ask questions. This is, this is, yes. this is the female version of Collins. Six months. Yes. <laughs> this is the female version of Collins. But this is how Collins <laughs> will be now. So, draw, so draw a <laughs> draw timeline. Collins, and and then when he doesn't, when whoever doesn't come forth or deliver mm. as expected, Mm. I'm with her. I'm with her. Okay, line. that's an interesting statement. All right, what, what is your deal? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't believe in situation ships. If you want to have fun, to know you are having fun. All these yeah, like, you understand? <laughs> no, no. In, don't put yourself in a box that okay, we're having fun together. Blah blah. Although I do, I'm not saying you should have fun, no, because I go to church and everything. <laughs> you understand? But if you want to do all that, then. Okay, me and you, okay, one time we have, we have go. Not anything that will bind you to somebody, make it serious. Don't waste that person's life. For example, the girl is liking you. Other guys are liking her, but they are seeing her with you. Mm -hmm. And they are, and you yeah. get, and, and you get angry when they call her. Mm -hmm. You get, and I did, although it happens to guys who call All right, me. so go ahead. Um, oh, don't, uh, don't have sex. Even though it might be, well, don't have sex. Don't. <laughs> don't. That's I swear don't. That. In don't. the situation, sure. Okay. I think don't. there's a okay, lot of people at home that will be vexing you. Yeah, like, don't let them that's the don't. point of a situation. I don't know why guys don't do this, though. Then, sorry, know. one question. Is situation shit different from friends with benefit? This generation is different. The same thing. They are just changing the name. We're being more political now. Go ahead. Don't collect from his rings. Okay, why do you say that? <laughs> trash. What's this guy's name, please? <laughs> why would you so, no, what does a promise ring mean? Oh my god. I like you. Ah. But I don't think you that are I don't want to that. 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 that is guys, 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 I had talk. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't it just doesn't But boys are crazy. <laughs> So no, just, please explain, explain the... Okay, so why, why, why would you collect the promise ring, right? Mm -hmm. you, is it that you were not patient enough to wait for a proposal? Like, I don't, it doesn't... 
What is a primary school? <laughs> maybe it's, you know how people do like pre engagement like shoots? So it's like a pre engagement like thing, maybe. <laughs> pre what? Why, why is there a pre engagement? Now one day. Pre- a pre engagement can, that can even happen when you are dating. Not in a situation. Do you know how horrible Doesn't promise? Because engagement ring serve in itself can be a trap. Not to talk of promise <laughs> ring. No, promise ring is like, okay, I like you, mm-hmm. but I don't like you enough to want to marry you. So uh-huh. up until the moment when I think I would like you enough to marry you, manage this one. Mm-hmm. Then if I now eventually end up wanting to marry you our great okay so it sounds like it's a book something it's a long story okay all right what is your what is your don't 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 in (laughs) situation you don't think Mm -hmm. about Collins you don't 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 be, Collins. <laughs> don't be in a situation just be in a relationship <laughs> and get married <laughs> don't is is because oh whether you may I, what i believe at least the way i am wired whether I like it or not, the emotions are involved, mm-hmm. do you understand? Mm-hmm. So, and most times it will be emotions from one party and not the other. So, it's mm-hmm. too much punishment. Mm-hmm. And you can't help how you feel inside. I've cried because of a girl before. Oh, uh, even you. It wasn't a situation. Even you. But I thought, you know what, we were in a relationship, but apparently it, it was a situation. Yeah, situation. But she did not know. <laughs> I only relationship was a situation. So, as soon week. as I left school, I did. Thank you all so much for joining us today and sharing your situationship thoughts and stories and uh, heartfelt messages. Um, Guys, like I always say, just because a conversation ends at the table does not mean it has to end here. So be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section and join the Indani family on all of our social media platforms at Indani TV. Also, be sure to use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. I'll see you next time. Thank you. So two years. Oh, sis, this is. I fear we're not going.